Devin Vassell is the most anonymous star in the NBA, and he would be one of your favorite players if you actually had a chance to see him play. But stuck on a rebuilding San Antonio roster, only Spurs fans get to see him often. And boy, is he fun to watch. Vassell loves to stop and pop at the foul line, which makes his game so dynamic. This mid-range butter, in combination with his blazing hot 42% from downtown on high volume of shots, make him an offensive powerhouse. In his third season in the league, Devin is making a big jump in production, from 12 points per game last year to 20 and a half right now, and he could be in the conversation for most improved player. Have you seen him play? Let me introduce you to a few more similar players. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Nick Richards is probably not the most talented player you've seen, but he definitely makes up for it with his energy and effort, and he needs more playing time. In only 20 minutes per game, Richards is posting up 9.5 points per game on a high percentage, mostly because it's all dunks and layups, but what's really impressive is that he is top 10 in offensive rebounds with 3 per game, and who doesn't love extra possessions? You see him always being active, running on fast breaks and relocating for a better position during half-court offense. And I like the textbook stance right here with his hands wide open expecting the pass, just like they teach little kids. Way to go! Admittedly, even I don't really tune in to watch the Hornets, so I cannot blame you for it. So that's why I gotta show some love for Richards. Trey Murphy is getting a bit more exposure as part of the surging Pelicans who are right now at the number 3 spot in the West. But I still feel like he's relatively under the radar, although his 3-point shooting is at the top of the scouting report for opponents. 41% from downtown for Murphy and the Pelicans love to run him off of double screens to get an open look or for a teammate to capitalize off of that attention on him. A typical 3 and D player, Murphy is a key contributor on defense for the Pelicans who completely unexpectedly have the 4th best defense in the league. With this in mind, plus the floor spacing aspect that he provides to a guy like Zion, Trey's 13 points per game hold a bigger weight. Speaking of that, Santi Aldama was really important to the Memphis Grizzlies early on while waiting for Jackson Jr. to come back from injury, and Aldama absolutely delivered. With 9 points, almost 6 rebounds and a block per game, Santi is doing everything the team needs. He's able to close out defensively and on offense set good screens, quickly roll to the rim to finish and overall win the 50-50 battles for some extra possessions. With Ja doing the flashy stuff and Bane most of the shooting, Aldama's expertise is the dirty work and he's finding great success in that role. I mentioned rolling to the rim and possibly my favorite Roman is Jared Vanderbilt from the Jazz. Once he sets a pick, Jared is sprinting to the rim and since he's the big man quite often in smaller lineups, his defenders have a hard time keeping up with Vanderbilt. You see that he has a terrific knack for positioning and getting open, evading the defense and ending up with an excellent scoring opportunity. This is why his 8.5 points per game come at 59% efficiency. These are all high percentage shots. But points are just a bonus with him. He is crashing the glass like nobody's business, grabbing 8.5 rebounds in 25 minutes of action. This and his incredible ability to switch on multiple positions makes him incredibly versatile and a big piece of the Jazz rotation. And I know that most of you are familiar with Bruce Brown from all the big games while on the Nets, but I had to include him here just because of his great season that he's having in Denver. We were mainly used to see him shoot that floater off the pass from KD or Kyrie and mainly stay off the ball, but with the Nuggets, he's operating with the ball in his hands for the majority of the time and he's awesome at it. This is a major expansion to his offensive duties and so far this is a career year in terms of points for Brown with 11.5 per game along with 4.5 rebounds and just as many assists. The Nuggets are number 2 in the West playing their usual quality basketball and Bruce has a big impact on this team. And just because I love those pitbull type of players and have to include one here, we gotta talk about Javon Carter's intensity. I mean look at him, hounding players all over the court, snatching the ball right from them and disrupting the flow of the offense. At a career high 9 points per game and knocking down the 3 on the kickout like a sniper at 42%, all of this is a welcome addition to his main weapon, which is defense. And not only is he big for the Bucks right now, but more importantly, he could be key for them in the playoffs. Let me know in the comments who would you add to this list. That's it for now, subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out.
don't add me to the list. Peace.